Well, second morning in North Carolina. Guess what we're gonna do? It's gonna be a prettier morning. We're hoping they gobble. We're not sure where they roosted last night, like we did. We had we had a leg up on them yesterday and couldn't get it done. So maybe if we just go in there old-fashioned style, get up somewhere and listen to them, we'll make some good moves. Find us a high point and hope things work out better than yesterday. Happy Easter, y'all. What a sunrise he's giving us too, buddy. Showing up and showing out. A quiet morning. Hard to put a negative spin on it, regardless of whether you're hearing Goblin or not. Looking at what we're looking at right here. Easter morning. A little chill in the air. Fog coming up out of the valley. We'll find one. I ain't worried about that. It's just hard to move at the moment. There he is. You know who that is. He's a ways. All right. devising a plan. I'm trying to figure out what I think they're going to do. Mm -hmm. Got these two longbeards out in the field out here and we haven't made an advancement on them yet because we're trying to figure out which way they're going to go. And we decided to see what they did. We're just feeding and got one hen with them. I thought we'd see what they do to a call. So I kind of stepped back in here and did a little two hens going back and forth scenario. Never gobbled, but they colored up. And the dominant bird especially, he didn't strut, but he kind of ruffled them feathers a bit and they're just freaking staring holes into the, you know, we're several, couple hundred, few hundred yards away probably. 250, maybe 300. And, uh, boy, he's still just standing there like a statue. His head color changed immediately. They haven't moved a foot. Well, I was amused by it. At least they didn't run from it, I guess. <laughs> I was amused by it. But they've just about kind of went right back to their path, hadn't they? That hen, they ain't leaving her. Decided to just make a loop around them and get on that side of the little hedgerow with them. We can use this bottom pretty easily. We're just nervous about bumping other turkeys getting to them. Good God, what a bottom. This freaking thing is beautiful. I'd like to tangle with one down in here. Gonna get in here, just start trying to sneak our way into their neighborhood, and they seem to just be walking the streets of the neighborhood. So if we can get on one of the streets and see, they may wander into, wander down the wrong street. We've made a slip up to that field without any success. I don't know where they went. They uh, didn't keep their line of travel, so we assume that the sun's come out. Maybe they've banked and just kind of bared on around that hillside that they were on and back into that pretty bottom that we walked through to get in here. So we're taking this creek bottom down and we're almost there now. And we're gonna get right here. We're fixing to give a call because thinking if we get right in their hip pocket, like right in their wheelhouse, that they'll strike. Is that a mouth he'll bring? Nope.
thing about it, she's putting over yonder.
if this old bird here is finally settled down or if he's finally walked off or what he's done. Well, I hope his rear end is drier than mine. I can promise you that. <laughs> We're sitting. <laughs> we found ourselves in this creek and we've been walking. Right after the last time that I did a little bring you guys up to speed bit, we rounded that corner and everything played out exactly like we had said it was going to. We rounded that corner, was gonna make a call to strike these turkeys thinking that we were gonna be right in their hip pocket. When I caught the hen right here off our left shoulder about what, 35? 35, yeah. And she didn't see us somehow. She saw something, she saw some movement. And she just started doing that curiosity clucking and kind of walking to us. And we just froze. And she walked right on past us, just curiosity clucking, which turned into like cutting almost. Just <laughs> and Sleazy looks up and sees the Longbeards who had been following her all day. They were coming right down the same, coming right in the woods in the same spot. Pretty good head cap on him, Meyer. Been doing it, ain't he? Been dancing a little bit. Pretty little spot. Mm-hmm. When we walked through here, I said, golly. What a fine place for one to die. And I'll be dang. About 45 minutes later, we're coming back to it. They just hanging around. was going on that side, and they just turned and came right. Hang right when in we that little this, corner pocket. Mm-hmm. When we did this, they just started moving toward the woods. Get back down there from that flat and try to strike them. Mm-hmm. All right. I see if we get tight on them, we hit them a little something, I think they'll go. He said, I bet they will too if you get in that hip pocket. We got in the hip pocket. Didn't even have to. She did it for us, didn't she? Yep. Ten seconds early, ten seconds later. That wouldn't have come together. The gig would have fell apart. It just so happened to be oh. that when she come down through there, we were standing halfway still. <laughs> we looked at the weather forecast. We said Sunday morning, Easter morning. That's going to be one of the finest spring days you'll spend weather-wise. Mm-hmm. Boy. The turkeys didn't think so. Today it was beautiful, crisp. Sun broke quick. And them jokers, we <clears> heard <throat> one turkey gobble two times. You think it was one of these? I can't, I ain't gonna be able to say either way. I don't know. Wonder if anybody else is smoking any cigars today. Was the day as pretty as it is? I bet somebody's smoking a cigar somewhere is where you bet. I'd say so. Being just about lunchtime, they probably already smoked a couple. <laughs> you be freaking kidding me. <laughs> he goblins. He's pretty close too, wasn't he? He had less than 150 yards. This boy's brother will not leave us alone. Jesus, get that camera and turn it around here. Sleazy, what are we gonna do about this turkey? 
I don't know, I see you cut your eyes over here about it. <laughs> I got a knee jerk response. This will be unique. <laughs> I think a turkey was about a hundred yards that last time. Mm -hmm. It's been a mighty fine Easter morning, Easter day. Well, we didn't do a little in cab interview because. We got situated and was having our cup of coffee, was fixing to turn the camera on and do a little chat. And we had some nice gentleman come pulling up in front of us and get out. So we had to get out and chatted with him. And, and he comes on in the same gate as us. And I explained to him that we was here first. And he says he's got a blind built in here and he's going to sit in his blind. Ain't the way it's supposed to work, boys and girls. If you get beat, go to plan B. You better have a plan C, D. That's the way it works. Give people a little bit of elbow room. It's turkey hunting, it ain't deer hunting. We ain't sitting still. But I just apologize to him if a turkey gobbled close to him because we got dibs. We was here first. We'll try to be respectful, but he didn't do a good job, so we'll do the best we can. We got a few turkeys gobbling but none of them that are in our wheelhouse yet. Another beautiful morning and turkeys are gobbling, but they're just not solid logs like you'd think they would be on a morning like this. Low 40s, no wind, crisp. It's beautiful. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Where'd he go? That blind must have got uncomfortable he was going to go sit in. Well, we've decided to drag our feet a little bit, nice and slow, not moving real fast, because the turkeys ain't moving real fast. So we know we're around turkeys. We're just slow playing it, giving them time. The last two days, the way it's worked out, turkeys ain't done hardly nothing off roost, but 9.30, 10 o'clock, I get started, and so we're trying to stay in the same ballpark with where we know there's turkeys and see if they're gonna get started. And as we're walking up this little knob here, one gobbles off down in there. So, I don't know what caused him to gobble, but we're fixing to see if he wants to play ball. Let's hope he wants to play ball. I like playing ball. Me and Kenny got into a discussion the other day about wiffle ball. I, I seen that. You ever played any wiffle ball in I your day? I did. Kenny was probably real competitive at it, though. Huh? He was that kid that was competitive but was never really got picked last and stuff. Yeah, he thought he, you know, he thought he was. He gave man, it his all. Though. Yeah, he gave it his all. Honorable mention. You could always depend on him to give it a hundred percent. Come in the damn house all muddy, lost one of his shoes. Mm -hmm. That kind of kid. The knees tore out of his britches. Yep, grass stains everywhere. Well, let's hope this turkey wants to play ball. Yeah. I'd really like to play We're tired of riding the bench. That's right. May have to reach in the pocket and get out the glass call to reach him down there. Oh, Lord. Well, that turkey didn't gobble again. And we're still moving our feet here. But it just ain't looking like a good day for the home team, which is him, or the visiting team, which is me. Turkeys just ain't being turkeys like I should and it's a beautiful day very little wind sun's shining you think he'd be just acting crazy but for some reason some days turkeys just don't act like turkeys are supposed to act well it's the evening edition 
This morning was pretty fruitless and sleazy. Claims there's some turkeys that need attention in Michigan and he's headed to Michigan. Cut out of here about lunchtime today and I'm gonna hang around here one more day. I had to stay at his house and edit for about four or five hours middle of day today to try to get you guys a video out and this is a gobbler track on top of those tire prints I'm going in here to this spot that I killed my first North Carolina gobbler when I was on the chase for the US slam I think I'm gonna spend tomorrow morning in here Picked up on that gobbler's tracks and it and his one hen it looks like he was walking with. It spots all the way up and down this road. I've probably walked it half miles and they've been in and out of it multiple times. Feeling really good about it. It's about 15 minutes to fly up, 20 maybe. And then I just bumped them. I don't know if it was them. It was two turkeys. One, the first one was definitely a hen. The second one sounded like a heavier turkey looked black when it flew off. Obviously, I couldn't see its head well enough to confirm that it was a gobbler, but there are 50 yards over in this, which is a, like a bottom. There's a creek on the other side, and you can see it goes up a super steep mountain over there. They flew up. Not exactly a perfect scenario, but I don't know how I was supposed to avoid it, so I don't feel extremely bad about it. I wouldn't be here tomorrow if I hadn't come in here today. But coming in here today probably just caused me to bump the turkey. Start close in the morning, talk. 